I don't know if I were waiting for a, if I were in a rural area waiting for a cell tower, I don't think I'd hold my breath. I think that that's uh, that is a rough business model um, for a couple reasons. I mean, you know, one is that very few carriers are investing in their networks, even in urban areas where they make a lot of money. Right. So if they're not doing it there, why would they do it in a rural area where they make much, much less money? The other problem is that building a cell tower in a rural area is often more expensive than building it in a in an urban area, uh, according to what the carriers say. Um, and then, yeah, so it's, uh, you know, you make less money on it, costs more. I'm not sure why you would build it. The other thing is a lot of the carriers that are serving those areas, you know, the, the way that uh, th there used to be a lot more wireless network operators in rural areas. And what has increasingly been happening is that those companies are either selling or it's so, gotten so bad that they're literally just shutting down their network because it costs too much to run. And they're, they're, they're not even selling their towers or customers, they're just selling their spectrum. Meaning that there's so little demand for that rural network that they can't even sell their customers. That they're just giving up and shutting everything down and just walking away because you can't make money in rural areas. So I think that that 5G fund, you know, it might make a dent, I hope it does. I think that offering 5G in rural areas is probably one of the hardest telecom business models there is. And here's the other thing too, uh, is that you, you, you guys are probably aware <laughs> of the whole uh, uh, 5G from space thing that they're doing, which is, uh, it's called uh, direct to device or supplemental coverage from space. Uh, SpaceX is doing it. Um, a couple other companies are. And basically, it's it's literally just connecting your phone, your cell phone to a satellite in a rural area where you don't have a cell tower or a signal. And so if you so that technology does work, there are a number of companies that are going to offer it in the next few years. So if you had that opportunity, now the speeds are very slow. It's not like you're going to offer Netflix over that connection, but you'll probably be able to text, <clears throat> you might be able to make a phone call, depending. So if you knew that that technology was coming to cover those rural areas, would you invest in a cell tower in a rural area now, or, or would you just wait a couple of years knowing that there's going to be a satellite to do that anyway? Yeah. Cause I mean, this is one of those things that I feel like people don't always appreciate is that even if you only take 10 to 20% of the market, that's enough to kill the economics for someone that might be providing a, a better service in the area that's terrestrially based. Right. Now well, I'm, I'm curious. Math about is, I mean, there's, broadband on a cell tower is only two to three miles and, and voice is about six and in any rural area that's not very many people even if you got them all it's not very many people yeah yeah